For this assignment, I decided to go with a painter named Rodolfo Morales. Morales was born on May 8, 1925 in Oaxaca, Mexico, and died on January 30, 2001 in Oaxaca, Mexico. When Morales was 11 years old, his mother removed him from school due to the socialist and anti-clerical propaganda, which was being promoted at the time. Morales spent his time being around his mother and her friends. His mother would take Morales to an arts and crafts class that she attended, and Morales would occupy this time playing with the discarded pieces of cloth and string on the floor. Morales eventually crafted and sold kites in his small town. This town will eventually evolve in Morales' future. Morales enrolled in the Academy of San Carlos from 1948 to 1953. Morales then became an art teacher at a prestigious high school in Mexico City from 1953 to 1985. While teaching at the high school, Morales met Angelus Cabrera, who was one of Mexico's first women sculptors. Cabrera is the one who got Morales the exposure and the meeting with another famous Mexican artist named Rufino Tamayo. Morales is best known for his folkloric surrealism dreamlike paintings that are brightly colored. The surreal painting style is a dreamlike visual which uses symbolism and collage images. This style or movement was developed in Europe after World War I. The best way to describe Morales' paintings are somewhere between a dream and reality. Morales' paintings depict the small village life of colonial Mexico. His paintings feature exaggerated hands and feet, oversized faces, indigenous women doing various activities with bicycles, dogs, musical instruments, dreaming, and floating. It's not uncommon to see women in Morales' paintings wearing wedding dresses and there being at least one dog in the painting. Women and memories appear to be at the heart of his work. Morales once explained, Mexico would be lost without steadfast work of women. They bear the burden of day-to-day -day living and find solution to those problems to which men simply resign themselves. It was tough to find any backstory to Morales' paintings, since he refused to give meanings to his paintings. That part was up to the viewer. Ginger Thompson of the New York Times stated, Mr. Morales often said that he did not like to talk about the meanings of his paintings, but that he got great satisfaction from watching others find something of themselves in his mystical settings. This is why many of Morales' paintings are not titled. So I am a viewer and I'm going to try my best to talk about my three selections. My first selection I chose to go with is the Moon Dance. From the first look, it's obviously noticeable that the color blue is very dominant. This gives the scene a nighttime feel. The young girl dancing seems focused on her sheet as she swings it into the air and comes face to face with her moon dance partner. There seems to be four ladies secretly watching this young girl dance with her imaginative dance partner. The phrase, dance like nobody's watching, comes to mind. We see one of Rodolfo's trademarks in the use of the dog. The dog is white and is standing by the girl. One can only imagine the dog barking and chasing the girl around, as if it were a game. An interesting observation would be the dark skin tones used on the women. The skin tone is in reference to the native women, but these women have brown hair and blonde hair with blue eyes. Can this be Rodolfo's acknowledgement to the European settlers and their breeding with the natives? My second selection I chose, Women with Dogs. This painting is somewhat typical of Morales' style. As in the majority of his paintings, Morales tends to paint the ladies with oversized faces beyond proportion hands and feet. We observe the painting. We notice the color of choice is the many variants of red. We notice the three ladies wearing similar dresses while each is cradling a dog. The skin tones are different for all three ladies. We see that the two ladies on the right have darker skin tones while the lady on the left has lighter skin tone with blue eyes. Could this be another reference to the European settlers breeding with the natives? Even though Morales uses darker tones of red to give the sitting ladies shadows on their dresses, he also uses an, uses an electric blue to indicate the creases on their dresses. This captures the eyes to look closer at the details. For my last pick, I decided to go with Brides on Bicycles. This painting, like other Morales paintings, is a bit unusual. 
The main focus is on the two brides dressed in wedding gowns. Each bride is pushing a bicycle and it appears they're in the middle of a conversation. The two veils seem to be blown in the breeze. The brush strokes give it that flowing illusion. Both ladies seem to be native with their dark skin color. It appears that they're in a town courtyard or a church courtyard. The Mexican flags on the handlebars seem to represent national pride. In this painting, we once again have a Morales trademark use of the dog. The dog seems to be hanging out with the ladies. The background has a blue and yellow square that seems to focus the eyes towards the two brides. Rodolfo Morales was 50 years old when he sold his first painting. The surrealism folklore style led Morales to exhibit his work in Europe, South America, the Caribbean, Mexico, and the United States. A Rodolfo Morales painting can be worth a few thousand dollars to tens of thousands of dollars. The reoccurring theme is women and dogs, which were memories of his youth.